Alright, uh, welcome back. Uh, sorry about that. Um, I actually got a um, Skype call um, in before, and then this is a uh, continuation of the part two and part one uh, bit of a series on uh, disk digger and uh, file recovery and undelete. Uh, basically, we can undelete uh, because the uh, program or the data, the file you actually delete doesn't actually get deleted. It um, just gets rearranged and hidden um, on the uh, sectors or the hard drive itself and um, part of the uh, partition but in this case we're going to be um, using our disk digger program that we've uh, downloaded from our diskdigger.org uh, website and disk digger is an easy uh, utility to recovering uh, lost files um, if we click on the F drive which is our located uh, Seagate uh, 5 gig old school drive that we've had in the um, uh, lost and found for quite some time uh, but if we're going to uh, recover it, then we'll need a program, a uh, half decent, decent program to recover it using the uh, disk digger uh, application uh, program. So, anyway, it's uh, picked up our list uh, hard drive. Um, in the list, it's got uh, F drive, uh, 4.65 gig, uh, which is our uh, Seagate uh, hard drive. And uh, basically, if this comes up, uh, logical drives is what we want to um, go to F drive and 4.65 gig is what our drive is but yours could be anything from 1 terabyte, 2 terabyte or anything and up and anything in between uh, but mine's a fairly uh, small hard drive and it's uh, I, I basically guess it's um, been used for backup at some stage and it's a few word documents to um, just sneak in it and um, Basically, I've uh, used a hard drive to USB hard drive to walk between computers and transfer data this way. Um, but now we've got the internet; um, it's a bit easier. But people do, uh, skip, you know, transfer files from A to B using computer to computer and using uh, uh, USB drives. And, and unfortunately, when this happens, um, you can accidentally um, delete files, and um, you know. It's an accidentally deletion, so we can recover these uh, files, fortunately uh, or unfortunately. But fortunately for the user who has uh, deleted it accidentally, we can save the day by opening up our disk digger program. And we've got the list here: um, drive information. Then it's got uh, F drive, and click on next. Uh, I've got the disk digger open. Then we can. Scan disk surfaces for traces of files, and we're going to scan the entire disk. Uh, so we can click next. And here we go, progressing through our scan um, of um, scanning, scanning sector by sector, and it's done a fairly quick, to, quick because we've only um, uh, decided to utilise the dot doc x uh, option, and Bit of luck, it's found it somewhere. If we scroll down, uh, oh, uh, excellent. Actually, actually, it's a .doc uh, file, so it's saved in the previous web, uh, 2003 uh, version. Uh, ah, that's very nice. It's actually uh, transfer money uh, .doc, and it's actually recovered that file uh, in the list of. Um, And if we go to a uh, particular file type on the on the uh, transfer money, then we can go to save selected files. And here we can save it either to our USB drive or our desktop drive, or we can save it to the computer somewhere or even across the network if we want, wish to make a new folder uh, or a mapped network drive. Uh, but today we're going to, for e ease of uh, illustration uh, purposes, we're going to be um, saving it to our desktop. And if I click on OK, and this is going to prompt um, saying it's enter a uh, diskdigger.org, uh, enter key registration. But this is actually a trial for, um, I think, about 30 days or so. Uh, if we wait for the little uh, 54321 options and we can uh, go to continue unregistered and this will saving the transfer.money file 
or transfer money doc doc file and that's successfully uh, saved and rescued this file. Uh, very good um, tool, it's never failed for me um, and it's always scanned through uh, at times and it's always found what I needed to uh, scan and find but who knows what is out there and um, you know you might come across some interesting materials like interesting material and um, if you accidentally deleted the file then you can always get it back from years later in some cases and in some cases you can just get it back um, straight away especially if you've uh, scanned it um, you know if you scan this uh, just digger program using the USB drive you can um, scan it straight away and normally nine times out of ten you can get a uh, data recovery and um, success of it all and we can close our disk digger program and click on the little X and go click on yes do you want to exit this program click on yes and now basically uh, we can see our transfer money dot doc file uh, dash one uh, on our computer's local computer's desktop and we can move this file anywhere uh, if you want to see what it is of course you can always open it double left click as normal and all the contents of this file shall be within the word document file and it's successfully uh, recovered and all the data is in the file and now we can uh, say that we've successfully recovered uh, transfer money dot doc file in the disk digger uh, dot org file. Uh, thank you for viewing my brief presentation on the part one part two and sorry about all the interruptions but you know working in IT it's always uh, pretty full on and um, you know things always do come up so sorry about that but um, at least we've managed to demonstrate uh, professionally that uh, our um, file that we've accidentally deleted, uh, we can undelete and recover the file inside uh, the disk digger program. As I said earlier too, there's uh, many options there that we can use to, um, I guess, recover this file. Uh, there's not just limited to disk digger program because there's um, hundreds of, literally hundreds of other uh, data recovery software and some for enterprise, some for um, you know, just home based and some for um, you know, computer forensic kind of uh, people. Uh, but we've just used a very basic one that um, you know, if the drive turns on, uh, it will recover it. And you know, if it's harder to, uh, if the drive doesn't come up or this that doesn't uh, spin up, um, then it's a bit, lot more difficult. Uh, then you might have to go to the mechanics of the actual hard drive. But um, if you can't see the drive because of the partition then you'll have to do a sector by sector uh, recovery and if you do a sector by sector recovery um, you will eventually uh, recover the scan or recover the data uh, that you're looking for using this digger or any other kind of program out there that will uh, recover the uh, program this digger data uh, for you and um, this digger data is just one variant as I said in the programs available and it's not just limited to do this digger, but you can um, do some further research. And I'll be doing some further re um, videos actually in the future that, um, that I'll be able to show you how to use, use and uh, utilize and recover and store data more efficiently across the uh, network LAN, the local and WAN actually. And um, basically, we'll um, have future videos and all, all the above and a lot more. So, uh, thank you for viewing my brief presentation on. Uh, disk digger and file recovery and uh, file undelete. Um, thank you and have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye.